Who are the people in your neighborhood? They're the people that you meet when you're on a quarantine. They're the people that you meet each day. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Who Are the People in Your Neighborhood? This episode I am so excited about because this is actually about my neighbor, my physical neighbor. And one of the cool things that has happened from the coronavirus outbreak is I think it's made all of us um, keep our relations closer to home. So I've got to know this neighbor a little bit better and I'm so excited to share her with you today. I'm super selfish with her because she's kind of brilliant and she's gonna share some amazing things with us about homeschooling, which I know is causing a lot of emotions from a lot of people. And most of the emotions I'm hearing are frustration, (laughs) anger, uh basically those (laughs) so jennifer welcome this is jennifer hello hello thank you missy for having me on here i'm i'm really excited to be a part of your project here oh thank you thank you jennifer was my biggest supporter when i told her about this idea (laughs) (laughs) so jennifer um she moved here after the paradise fires and she's been living here next to me for about a year And um, I'm just getting to know about her business. So this is kind of selfish because she's going to fill us all in at the same time. So Jennifer, tell us about what you do and what you offer. Okay. I run TOPS Learning Systems. TOPS is a nonprofit educational publisher of math and science curriculum. And our specialty is um, student-directed lessons, labs on a shoestring budget. So we've been really popular with public schools. We are wildly popular with homeschoolers. And we've even had a chance to work with librarians who need um, summer activities for kids and even schools setting up in third world nations that need materials they can use when the teachers only really have an uh, elementary education nothing beyond that. So uh, it's a really exciting job. I get to hear about lots of neat projects. And but my own personal experience, I used tops when I was a homeschooling mom. And it was one of the things we transitioned from public school to private school, and then to homeschooling. And my kids really uh, enjoyed a little bit of freedom the self-directed nature and um well science in general is fun so we had it was just a really great fit for our family so getting to work for tops and eventually getting to take over uh i've been uh, in charge of tops for about 10 years so you know a lot of fun (laughs) that is awesome i just learned so much about you yeah Um, The thing I like about Jennifer is she has helped me um, with my own schooling of my son. And many of you know, my son's only three and a half, but he was supposed to start preschool. And because of my husband's leukemia, um, he had a leukemia relapse. And so we're not able to put my son in public school because of the infection risk. And then the rest of the world decided that was a good idea to shut down infection risk. So I've been... um, (laughs) I've been coming to Jennifer with ideas of how I can offer a preschool experience for my son in my home. And she's given me a lot of awesome ideas and showed us a lot of fun learning games. Um, Also, Jennifer's been posting in the Facebook group some really awesome um, like activities and games and things that you can do with your kids at home for homeschooling. So she's got all kinds of amazing and good ideas. Um, Jennifer, I want you to share with everyone a tip, um, something with homeschooling that you feel would be helpful for parents who have just been thrown into homeschooling? Yes. Well, right now is very important to keep calm. Um, When you talk to your homeschooling friends, or if you get onto the internet and you start researching, you will be inundated with information that people have literally spent years digging up. And everybody loves to share because this is exciting. This is our children. This is our passion. Um, But you really need to just start very small. Um, Getting 
things that you already do every day, cooking dinner, taking care of chores, that's all part of your, your day experience. It's all considered, a, you know, life skills. Um, as you get more comfortable with having your kids around all day, <laughs> making noise and doing things, you can get into um, projects as a family. You can start researching, you know, what subjects do you want to have your children studying while they're off school or out of, out of class. And um, you can start worrying about, oh, my battery warning just came on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you can start studying, uh, figuring out what you want to study. Language arts, do you want to just do some read alouds as a family and do discussions? Uh, math, just start baking. You just get out the butter and cut up your fractions. Do things like that. Uh, there's little steps to take and you add in little bit by little bit, which is how everybody starts until you're happy with what you're accomplishing. Just set some goals and get to it. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Um, I think the biggest takeaway of that is calm down. Right. <laughs> and that's something you've said to me actually in person. And it is so helpful and needed. Thank you. Because there, there's a lot of pressure on all of us with what's happening with school closures. There's a lot of pressure on parents to become everything that the school was. And right. that's just not realistic. So I love the message yeah. of finding the daily things you're doing and include learning in that. You know, yesterday we went to Jennifer's house and played a board game with my son and it became, we were doing division, we're doing math, we're doing, he's spelling things, we're doing colors. And it's just playing a game. So I think as a parent, um, we often beat ourselves up for not doing enough when I love Jennifer's message that what we're doing is enough. We just need to wrap it into what we're doing. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and home, home learning does not have to be school learning. It is an entirely different thing. We're not trained to use textbooks and do it exactly this way. But we do all have experience with stories and books and our favorite books. Share this stuff with your kids and it's all, it's all perfect. Yeah, that is such a beautiful message. Thank you so much for coming here today and talking with me. Um, Jennifer, how can people find you on Facebook and what is your website for your work? Okay, you can find me. I'm Jennifer Huff on Facebook. And you can also find Tops Learning Systems on Facebook. And our website is www.topscience.org. And you can search for us also. And we have lots to offer on our website as far as free samples and stuff you can do with your kids today. Awesome. You just made homeschooling feel exciting to me. So thank you for that. This was awesome. Thank you, Jennifer, for coming. Great. Thank I'll you. I'll see you later. All right. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.